and, if, and yet at the same time, and I've worked in that region. Be very careful about Afghanistan. Worry about Afghanistan. Now, the G20, as you know, has held two virtual meetings solely on Afghanistan in the last few weeks, and that's to their huge credit. And it's an, it's an absolutely vital forum for discussions uh, about Afghanistan. But here's the story as I see it at the moment. The needs in Afghanistan are skyrocketing. The possibility of half of the kids under five having acute malnutrition is a red light, very, 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 uh, very severe one, uh, telling us that we have to fix this soon. The food requirements, we're feeding four million people in Afghanistan now. We predict, because of the economic collapse worries and winter, that we're going to have to provide food assistance through the World Food Program for three times that. Uh, and that's massive. Humanitarian aid is based on the principle that it is needed, whoever is, whoever is ruling, it is needed wherever people are in need. Humanitarian aid is unconditional in that sense. What I would be saying to those governments and those donors is, please give us your humanitarian money because we can make good use of it. Please reprogram your development money used for longer term projects into humanitarian money so we can use it now. Let's exploit the one blessing that Afghanistan has, which is an absence of war. That blessing should enable people to get back to a life of dignity.